Let's get right down to using instrument lists. You might have noticed or wondered how to get more instruments into your list. Uh, for example, you load up a new chart and you click on the instrument drop down and you seem to be missing symbols that you thought should be there. Uh, well, don't worry. Uh, we're going to show you how to use instrument lists and why you need to be using them. Now, the two most common places you're probably going to be using these are going to be in your charts as well as inside your market analyzer. Uh, there are several other areas that you can be using lists, so it's important that you set them up and save yourself a ton of time later on. So open up your NinjaTrader 8 control panel and go to Tools and then you will see Instrument List. A window will pop up showing you lists on the left and instruments on the right. So the idea here is quite simple. You want to click on a list or create a new one and add instruments to it. Let's create a new list. We're going to call it XABCD Trading, which is a list of pairs that we're going to be using to scan the market for patterns uh, that we measure based off Fibonacci time and Fibonacci price. So we'll click on the add button. We'll call it XABCD Trading and click OK. OK, so our list is now populated in the instrument list on the right are blank. Uh, but don't worry, we're going to be adding some instruments to that now. So for this, I'm going to add a few just to give you an idea. So let's add the US CAD. We'll add in oil and we'll add in the Euro CAD as well as the Aussie CAD. Now you can add in as many instruments as you want uh, into your individual list. You might also find it easier to add in missing instruments or symbols into existing lists. So for example, you might want to go into the, the Forex list and add in the Aussie Kiwi if it's missing and you can just select it uh, underneath the, the list name and then under instruments click add and just type that in. Now once you have your list all set up you can use them in your charts uh, where you have your instrument drop down or you can use them in your market analyzer to load up a set of instrument lists. So lists are really handy for a bunch of situations, but mainly because they save you a ton of time. Uh, you might also want to work with groups of instruments with your trading. So you might have a list of commodities or a list of Forex pairs or certain stocks separated by your industry. Uh, so you kind of get the idea there, but go have fun and create some of your own instrument lists. Also, if you're looking for two cool indicators, you can download for free in NTA. You can look at the two that we've created uh, to kind of get back to the community here. One of them draws a price line across your screen, which can be stylized. And you can also add in the bid and the ask price. Uh, the other one is going to draw economic news events. And the really cool thing about that is that you can tell it to only show you the news events that are, are going to affect the instrument or the instrument pair that you're looking at. So it's pretty neat. And uh, anyways, click on any of those two videos here and don't forget to subscribe.